Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be starting a tutorial series and uh, I'll, I will make sure to be explaining every step because I haven't been doing that uh, for most of my tutorials. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to be making this uh, tutorial series. I'm going to attempt uh, to model everything you see here from uh, the structure, uh, the trees, the trees in the background, uh, the vegetation, e everything you see here. Uh, the grass everything so this is this can't be put in one tutorial so i'm going to make a tutorial series maybe i don't know how long it will be uh, but uh, we are going to try and get closer uh, close to this uh, image as we can uh, using blender ev and uh, blender 2.8 yeah so uh, basically what i'm going to be doing uh, for every part or every stage I make I will be uploading the project files to my uh, Patreon account if you want to follow uh, the the series yourself and uh, you can use uh, those projects as a as a starting point and uh, it's a way of supporting me uh, yeah basically yes yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say but uh, yeah let's get into it uh, so the first thing we have to do is of course you can get these uh, images. I, I guess I'll be leaving a link to where I found these images. I found them on Pinterest, uh, so you can download download them from there as well, and uh, we can get them. So you, we can start from there. So there are two images, and they show different angles of. Well, I guess it's not. They don't really show that much. You can even use one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's. Uh, Add this in the background so you just drag and drop or delete the cube so if you drag and drop the image directly there in the view like this uh, it will come out at an angle like this because it will be oriented uh, to the uh, to the view workspace to the view area you are viewing the workspace so you need to clear the rotation by using the shortcut alt make sure you have the object uh, the the object selected and then use alt r to clear the rotation and then alt g to clear the location so that it is centered in the uh, in the workspace <coughs> another thing i usually want to like doing is uh because i i never use this outliner that much i change this to uh to 3d view and then i can preview the image directly there uh, or you can use uh, the UV image editor and uh, use the image there. But uh, for some reason, uh, the controls, I'm not sure if I'm getting them wrong, but uh, it, it used to be uh, to, drag, to pan, uh, to move this image around or this view around, you just hold down Alt and then uh, use your middle mouse wheel, drag your middle mouse wheel to move this around. But uh, for some reason, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I've tried everything, every shortcut I can think of, but uh, it's not working. So what I usually do, and uh, it doesn't give you that much control, so what I usually do is uh, I just change this view into another 3D view, then move this, and maybe make a copy of this, so Shift D, and then move it. You can see in a 3D view, you get these controls panning. You can zoom in, zoom out. So I move it away from where I'm going to work and then center that by using the uh, uh, dot O uh, full stop uh, point, full stop key on your keyboard to center that in, the, in that view area. So you can see it's around here. So we're going to be working around this, but I'm putting it this side so that we, do, we don't have to see it in this view. And uh, you can switch off this grid by going into overlays. So if you scroll, and see you can turn off overlays here but uh, if you just turn off these all the overlays it will also turn off the image and the control points uh, the control icons are uh, the view navigation controls are uh, on the top here so what i like to do instead of turning off all overlays you just switch them off switch them on and then come to this uh, drop down menu and turn off uh, the overlays you don't want to see for example the grid i don't want to see this in the view in this view so I just switch it off and now I can pan around, zoom using the middle mouse wheel or just use this uh, zoom icon. So it's very easy to use. 
and uh, it doesn't get in the way of our workspace here. So I guess I can rotate this 90 degrees so that it's facing at the front orthogra orthographic view. And uh, I don't see the purpose of having this grid here uh, since we already have this uh, axis. So we can turn those that grid as well off. And uh, if we want to know what uh, what orientation we are in, we can easily see that from uh, this axis uh, or from this gizmo here. And you can also use this to pan around uh, your viewport. Uh, so if you don't like how opaque uh, this background is, you can come here uh, to this icon here, object data, and uh, turn the transparency down a bit so that you can model whatever you see uh, without the background go getting into the way. Uh, so but I think uh, around here is a good enough. So yeah, let's get started uh, working here. So uh, maybe you can move this up. So if you want to be accurate, you can use uh, the Lula, uh, the new measuring tools. Uh, okay, they, add, they have added a few shortcuts here. And uh, let me see. Drag anywhere to measure, drag Lula to whatever. So let's see how tall this is, three meters. So a window is usually one meter, so let's see. You can measure around. So one meter is around there. So we can grab uh, this. I'm not sure why. I think it should, this should stay because I want to change. Okay, I guess I can do that as well. So I want this to be one meter, the window to be one meter like that. So I think, yeah, I'm not sure if a window is one meter. So let me s see uh, height of a window. Three feet. Uh, what is three feet in one uh, in meters? Hmm. Meters feet to meter three. Yes, roughly one meter. So we are good. And uh, this is uh, also not the average window, so I think one meter is good. So we can start. Now that we have our measurements, uh, we can now uh, add a plane, I guess. We can, I don't know what we should start with. Maybe we should. I think let's begin by just making this face, front front facing face. And then we'll extrude because the, uh, the side area doesn't have a lot of detail. And uh, we can just extrude that from the, from the front face. So let's add a plane. Uh, we rotate it 90 degrees. And uh, <coughs> grab these up to around there. So uh, this we can't follow the, the background, the reference image directly because it, it was taken at an angle and uh, obviously there is perspective distortion. So we need to uh, just estimate what uh, from uh, the view there. We can't uh, do everything as is exactly. So I think we can also select this edge, extrude it around here. And now uh, we can start adding in uh, details are for this uh, top part here. Uh, so we can add a loop uh, to be around here. So this will be this uh, face here. And then another loop for this wall, which is around there. And uh, so I think that should go around there uh, to be in the middle. And uh, we can add another loop around there another loop 
around there for this apot roading porch and uh, let's see, let's see can add another loop for the window and another one for the door level and now we can start extruding but before we do that we need to add define the uh, the thickness of this um protrusion here so i think it's around here and um around that so now we can select these faces Oh, uh, the other thing I see is that uh, this also protrudes out a bit more, so we can extrude that as well. So, okay, I need to just hit the shortcut E, and uh, so I think around there. And uh, this also doesn't go all the way. Uh, I think it goes to around here. Uh, so we can uh, do that as well so we need to select no make sure this select this face uh, that make up this protrusion here i don't know if i don't know if we should add this i think we also need a loop for this uh, protrusion here so we can select these here like that and then this is uh, let's move this in front a bit and you turn on wireframe so to turn on wireframe you just hit z to get this apply menu and then uh, hit that then can extrude i think it's around there uh, what i like to turn what i like to do at this point is uh, turn on random colors and uh, turn on cavity and maybe shadow just so that i can see uh, uh the definitions of uh, the different shapes i'm making and uh yeah so let's see let's see let's move here i guess you can also select this face off I wasn't even saving. Okay, let me see. I don't think it's it has crashed. Uh, what's going on? Okay, 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 okay. Excuse me a bit. Something is happening 